Welcome students, I'm Mr. Buscarini and today we're going to see how to use prefixes. In physics, very often we will have to deal with numbers large and small. Now if you remember our previous lesson, we saw that a physical quantity, like length, has to be written as a number, 5, in this case, and its corresponding unit. Now, what happens if the number that you have to write is very big or very small? For instance, what if I have a number like 50,000 meters? Or a number like 0 0.005 meters? Now, in this case, we have two choices. One of them is to use standard or scientific notation, which, is, which will be the object of our next lesson, or instead we can use prefixes. Now, as you can see here, I rewrote the same number, 50,000 meters, as 50 km, where this symbol K stands for kilo. So we write this, uh, we read this as 50 kilometers. In the same way, I rewrote this number 0 0.005 meters as 5 mm, where the first m doesn't stand for meter, stands for milli. So together it reads as millimeters. So we, we can see that the same numbers wrote, written using the base unit of length, the meter, can be rewritten in a much shorter way by using these small symbols in front of a base unit and this small symbol is called a prefix. Now, there's quite a large choice of uh, prefixes that we can use. In this table you will see the most common ones. And we start at the middle, at the center of the table, with a base unit. The base unit obviously doesn't have a prefix. Now, each uh, prefix corresponds to a power of 10. In the case of a base unit, the, bar, the power of 10 is obviously 1, or 10 to the power of 0. From here, we'll start going upwards. The first a prefix that we need is the deca, a symbol, in this case is actually two letters, DA, and that stands for 10, or 10 to the power of 1. Then we find the hecto, symbol H, and that corresponds to 100, or 10 to the power of 2. In case you're not familiar with the powers of 2, of 10, you can see that you just need to count the zeros. One zero. 1 is a power, 2 zeros, 2 is a power. Then we find the kilo, which is one of the prefixes used in, I used in the previous example. The symbol is K, stands for a thousand, and the symbol and the, the power is 10 to the power of 3. From now on, we go by steps of 3. So the next one is the mega, symbol big M, mind you. It's a big letter, yeah, and that stands for a million, or 10 to the power of 6. And finally, the giga, symbol big G, and corresponds to a million, or 10 to the power of 9. This table also goes for numbers which are lower than 1. We start with a deci, D, stands for 0.1, or 10 to the power of minus 1. The centi, symbol C, as in centimeter, which is 0 0.01 or 10 to the power of minus 2. The milli, symbol M, 0 0.001 or 10 to the minus 3. And then again, as we happen here, after a thousand and a thousand, we go by steps of 3. Here we went from a thousand to a million, here we go from a thousandth to a millionth, and that is the micro, and the symbol is a Greek letter, the Greek letter mu, and it's 
This symbol here, it stands for a millionth, or 10 to the power of minus 6. And then we go to a billionth, and that's the nano symbol N, or 10 to the power of minus 9. Now actually, this table continues in both directions. For instance, a thousand billion is a tera, and the same goes downwards, but this is not only just for us. Now it's important to see how we convert from one prefix to another. The two rules you have to follow. One is the rule that you have to follow when you're converting from a large unit into a smaller unit, and one is the rule you have to follow if you want to go from a small unit to a large unit. In the first case, if you're going from large to small, you have to multiply by a power of 10. For instance, one kilogram is equal to one million milligrams. On the other hand, if you're going from a small unit to a large unit, you need to divide. For instance, if you want to know how how much in kilometer one centimeter is, you need to divide by 100,000, or 10 to a minus 5. To make things more easy, there's a way to remember the sequence of the middle part of our table. And it goes as following. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Now, if you see the first letters of um, the sentence, you will see they correspond to the first letter of our prefixes. King, kilo, Henry, hecto, died, deca, by, base, drinking, deci, si, senti, milk, milli. And how do we convert using this sequence? For instance, one kilogram. Kilo is over here, and if I want to know how much that is in milligram, which is here at the bottom, I just have to count how many steps I have to go down. And that will be the power for our power of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. 10 to the power of six. If on the other hand I want to know I want to convert centimeters into kilometers. I start from here, centi, and I go up. One, two, three, four, five. Ten to the power of minus five. Because we're converting from a small unit to a larger unit. Again, there's still more prefixes upwards and downwards, but remember from after the kilo or below the milli you have to go by steps of three. So what's the learning goal of today's lesson? By the end of this lesson you should be able to use prefixes to write numbers large and small. As I told you, the next thing we're going to see is how to do the same thing, writing numbers large and small, but not by using prefixes, but by using what we call scientific notation.